good day. This is a soul's truth awareness message for Aries. If you have Aries in your chart, these are just some soul truth actions to help you better evolve spiritually by physically taking actions to make better decisions and choices in the situations going on in your life today. Okay? So let's go ahead and get so oh, okay. We had are you willing? What are you looking for outside of yourself that is already within you? What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within your relationships? And are you ready to let go of the buried chain? So what I'll do is take the one that fell in my lap. And we'll go ahead and go from there. So somebody is feeling shameful about something. It says the feeling of shame is the lowest energy frequency there is. When you live in shame, you live in darkness. What part of you is ready to stand in the light? Is there any shame from a past experience that is ready to be healed? So your action is heal the shame by giving it a name. Bring it to the light and let it be seen, heard, and healed. It's revival season. Replace the shame with your soul's truth, which is to fill in the blank. My soul's truth is blank. Let's see what this has to do with Aries. It could have something to do with being a parent. It could have something involving a community of people. It's definitely a mother figure in this energy. What is, am I ready to let? go of this buried shame am i ready to let go of this buried shame for aries collective pathway journey and change so somebody took a path that was not of their highest interest and they're currently on a journey that they may actually be shameful about, but they're ready to make some changes. Clarity um, has, uh, there's been some split decision making or cutting out of some masculine energies, truth about some masculine energies have come out of some sort. I've seen the Empress card, which again, I already knew it was a mother, a feminine mother energy. Universe clarify pathway in reverse for Aries. Advice. Yeah, a path was taken, thinking it was to get to calmer waters, but it actually just led to someone who's emotionally intuitive and nurturing. They ended up being heartbroken. They feel a little bitter and saying some things, um, saying some things that are truthful, but it's hurtful at the same time to other people or it's a truth that can hurt other people what's journey a taking a leap of faith in a new beginning and clarify change advice for change for aries collective someone needs to change how they're uh taking care of their genital area, like who they're having sex with. Someone's having sex with multiple parties or just like one person repetitively over and over and over again. But that person that they're having sex with repetitively is having sex with other parties. So somebody needs to change their sexual activity. Go ahead and take a leap of faith towards the journey
and move to calmer waters from taking the wrong path. Somebody walked away from a family setting because they didn't want their secrets to be exposed. So now they're defensive. The people that are looking at them, they're holding on to old situations around money also, and it's stopping them from healing their money energy. So they're going to have a problem building a foundation with anybody. They have to stop lying to themselves about what they do with their masculine energy or with other masculines, period. And if you're a parent going through this, please focus on manifesting a new beginning to how you can become a better parent. That's a priority. You have the Six of Swords again and the King of Cups. There's a masculine energy that is going to move to calmer waters. A situation where there was some white lies being told and betrayal. But the lies were told to have a new financial beginning. What's the outcome for Pathway in Reverse and Six of Swords? Divine timing, patience. And divine timing, calmer, you can go to calmer waters. In the meantime, though, you have to make sure you're healing whatever you're shameful about, whatever you did uh, during this time on that path. That's what's most important is for you to let go of what has you in the darkness so you can stand in the light. It has something to do with a relationship and or friendship. Outcome for journey and fool. Somebody feels foolish for the journey that they took and they're wanting to move forward. Clarify journey and fool. What's the outcome for journey and fool for Aries? Outcome for journey and fool for Aries. Someone's going to take a leap of faith to actually work and manifest some type of work partnership with a friend or lover. Someone wants an ending to be put to them being left out in the cold and having money delays and stagnation. The masculine energy could be a child's father ready to speak some truth about something they're shameful for. They were defensive against Maybe a lover and now they're ready to take the journey to work with that person. What's the outcome for change? Someone sees an empress moving forward in their strength. Okay, so the change in the nine of wands. Someone has burdens. They're wanting to take an offer of love in... They want to take it to an empress that they see has emotional fulfillment moving forward and not operating out of toxic, lustful energies. So they see an empress has moved forward. Could be you or take it how it resonates. They see a mother figure emotionally satisfied, taking care of their family, grounded, stable, intuitive, nurturing all around. They've seen an empress move forward from toxicity, toxicity, toxic behaviors, and lustful energies. The strength card can also mean lust. And so they're wanting to change, I guess, their ways. Remember, I mentioned the whole sexual parties or whatever. So maybe they're wanting to change their ways and surrender their burdens to the universe being a wounded warrior so they can be able to take this cup of love to the empress. Interesting. All right, Aries. Last card that I have for you during this message is a karma card, okay? Remember that karma is your spiritual paycheck. So whether it's 
good or bad, that's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. So let's just see what the universe has for you to keep in mind. Universe karma messages for the Aries collective. Karma messages for the Aries collective. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces or have those in your chart. Um, the message is that Saturn is in somebody's 12th house, whether it's yours or theirs. So you definitely need to um, be mature about the resources that you are maintaining. Use caution with what you're doing with your psychic knowledge and limits may be imposed from being indecisive about a situation regarding productivity. Be realistic about your beliefs and your dreams, okay? All right, Aries, thank you for watching. I hope this message helps you in some shape, form, or fashion. Don't forget to do your action, which is filling in the blank. My soul's truth is maybe you want to do a journaling for that every day so you can heal whatever it is you're feeling shameful about because that's a very low vibration. Okay, thank you for watching. Personal readings are available. Click the link in the description box. You do get your reading within 24 hours. Thank you.